COVID-19 has brought many challenges to WSMS. There are a total of 18 coronavirus cases at the secondary level. Some of them are COVID cases, but we have had some positive COVID cases on campus. We have been pretty consistent with all the procedures, but Mr. Parker feels students have been slacking a bit. Uh, I think we started off really, really well. Uh, I think when we went the first six to nine weeks, it was nine weeks that we didn't have any cases on campus, I think we relaxed a little bit, including myself. It's still very important that the student body continues to follow the rules to keep everyone safe. In middle school, kids think that that's not going to happen to me or you, you're only looking really five minutes down the road instead of a day, two days, a week down the road and it can happen to you. Since flu season is among us, there might be some added obstacles. I'm really curious to see how the flu impacts us because we are wearing masks and maybe that'll help with the flu as well. I, I don't know the answer to that, but it's, it's going to be a very interesting winter that nobody can predict. Some people may not be getting tested because they are asymptomatic and could still be spreading the virus. There's no doubt that that's happening. And so again, you can't control that. Uh, I don't fault anybody for having the virus. What I do fault people for uh, are the ones who don't take it seriously. The symptoms with the common cold are very similar to that of COVID-19. The COVID symptoms initially anyways are so mild. It may just be a runny nose. It may just be a cough and, and you think, well, and you don't feel bad. Mr. Parker tells us what conditions in which Willow Springs will be shut down. There's some actual really black and white numbers. You have to be at 10%. So we would need to have quarantined 75 to 80 kids at one particular time. With so many breaks with the holidays coming up, the concern arises that the students and faculty will come back to school with the virus. The holidays are going to be the hardest part of the year. We have a four day weekend coming up. When you go home, you want to hang out with friends. You want to go to a Halloween party. You want to go to Thanksgiving dinner. So you want to hang out with friends throughout the week or over you know, a two week Christmas break. It's inevitable that we're gonna see cases rise if we don't do the things outside of school that, that we need to do. Despite the difficulties and protocols that come with this new chapter, Lovejoy ISD continues to stay optimistic. This is a responsibility of everybody. Again, it just takes one uh, case and it just takes one time for you not to wear your mask. Uh, and so when you see somebody who's not doing it, it's not that you're being rude, it's just you're trying to protect what we have. I'm Mireille. And I'm Chloe Smith reporting for WSMS News.